Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Bay Reviews. This is what we're looking at today. This is the uh, Love Lane Baltic Porter from Lidl. Comes at 6% um, ABV. Cost £1.79. Let's get it out of the can, shall we? So what we've got today. Um, so Love Lane are a Liverpool-based brewer. They originally started brewing in Love Lane, hence the name, but they're now based in the Baltic Triangle, which years and years and years and years and years and years ago, even before I was born, now I'm quite old, um, used to be the industrial part of Liverpool, so down near where the docks are. Um, now um, the Baltic, it's called the Baltic Triangle, um, and now the Baltic Triangle is full of the creative industries, I guess, which is why a brewery is based there. But you get art galleries, you get pubs, restaurants, that sort of thing. I mean, I know it from when I used to work for a company that was based in Liverpool. Uh, we used to always go out. Um, the Rubber Soul. Oh, can't see anything here. Not always a bad thing. Uh, the Rubber Soul on Matthew Street, I think it was, which is part of that Baltic Triangle. I wonder if that's still there, actually. Um, but yeah, it's on the same street where the cavern, uh, the new cavern, I think, is as well. So I always just go, always remember nights out in Liverpool, great nights out in Liverpool. Um, and I've had a couple of days there as well. So, fantastic city, wonderful city. Um, so that has poured, ooh, that's poured black, not like no light coming from there at all, with a just off white foamy head. Let's get those uh, aromas, shall we? Quite, it's malty. Get a little bit of coffee. A bit smoky. Maybe a hint of spice. Smells good, let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. So a good brewer, Love Lane. Um, used to be a little bit hit and miss, but of late I found them really good. Um, and yeah, it's a lovely porter. Um, flavours come in waves. Yeah, so it starts off a really sweet malt, almost tight, almost um, kind of biscuity malt. But that quickly gets taken over by the roasted malts, bringing those coffee and chocolate flavours we expect from a porter. And then you get that coffee bitterness at the back end. It's not overpowering. I thought at 6%, I thought it was going to be quite overpowering as a porter. It's not. Um, the aromas were fairly gentle. The flavours, to be fair, fairly gentle. But really, really nice flavours. at six percent it's not um it also it, it has a feel of a very sessionable beer to it but it's really good it's it feels very rich feels very smooth it's a good example of a porter I like good porters because um, stouts to me 
always feel quite modern. They're always a fairly, they always, yeah, they, they, they taste like the, the, the fairly today, quite contemporary, quite today, quite modern. Where porters, a good porter like this, uh, wishbone, do a beautiful black porter. They kind of show you what porters or these sorts of drinks would have been like centuries ago. And this does a similar sort of thing. It takes you back a little bit. You know, if I was sat in a snug in the 1800s, this is kind of what I might have been drinking. It's got that feel about it. It's got that old-fashioned feel about it, which I do really, really like. It's really, really easy, as you can see, it's really easy drinking. That, that 6% is, is, is nicely hidden. It's like I say on the aromas, um, smoky, malty, really nice. And that way the flavours, like I say, the, you get the uh, sweet malt, and then you get the roasted malts after that. And then that gentle bitterness, really nice. There's nice sweetness to it. Whilst that sweet malt comes and then it doesn't disappear when that roasted malt comes. The sweetness stays throughout it. I really like that. It's another good beer from um, Love Lane and at £1.79 Cracking value for money. Cracking value for money. Um, score wise, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Andy's beer reviews. Um, subscribe if you're new around here uh, for daily beer reviews. Um, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Love to hear what you think about it if you've had this before. Until the next review. Cheers, everybody.